Here we've got a bit of a pressure conundrum. Now let's start from the basics. Here's a diagram showing two flasks with the same level of water. Now both amounts of water have the same density um, and the, the centre of both of the flasks, assuming they're symmetrical, the centre from the pivot is of the same displacement from the pivot. And so we're asked that given that the two flasks have the same base area, the same distance from the pivot, and the same height of water, which way will the system rotate? Now, this should be fairly easy. Okay, so we'd say that the system, this side over on the left has more water um, because uh, it's, it's um, a, like, like a cylinder rather than a, a cone. Therefore, we'd say it rotates like this, right? So that bit's easy, but when you start thinking about it, it gets a bit more tricky because if pressure equals h rho g, that is the density of the liquid times the height of the column of the liquid times the gravitational field strength, if we combine this with the fact that pressure is force over area, then would the the since the pressures are um, the same because it's the same height of um, liquid um, and they have the same base area surely um, the forces should be equal because the the height is the same the density of the liquid is the same the gravitational field strength is the same and the area of the bottom is the same and the um, displacement from the pivot is the same so sh surely they should stay um, at equilibrium have a think. Now it turns out that the answer lies in forces. If, now if we look at the normal force on each beaker due to the water, we see that on the left we have a normal force left and right, um, which I'm going to call R for reaction force. But on the on the right, in the right beaker, we see that because the walls are at an angle, we actually have a component that is acting upwards, if that makes sense. So because the beaker, it doesn't, it, it looks a bit more like this, but because the reaction force is acting like that, there's a vertical component. Mm -hmm. There's a vertical, so I'm gonna call it RY. There's a vertical component to the reaction force, which means that actually, the, although the pressures are the same, the forces aren't balanced due to the shape of the container. So because there's a slight vertical component and there's not one on the left, it means that net, there's a net anti-clockwise moment which causes the system to rotate anti-clockwise. Thank you for watching.